Hey guys, Thea my gardener. Today I'm here with my little fruit orchard at home and it's really awesome that I was able to come here before fall came and I really like these fruit trees so I want them to come back next year obviously. And one thing that I've noticed that when you're growing fruit trees the deer love them. I mean when I say love them they're the first thing to get munched on in the spring and the fall. So one thing that I've kind of came up with is a really great method to protect these because uh, one that I didn't protect is completely gone. It's completely eaten. The deer don't care uh, if you get a fruit tree next year. They just want the leaves on it, the buds, the nice little soft bud tips. They'll eat everything. And uh, frankly, that's a problem for me, obviously. So I have one to replant. But I devised a plan to protect them. And this plant right here is one of my peaches. It's a great example of one of those small seedlings that is just prime for a deer. Obviously once it gets bigger I don't have to worry about it much. Um, but you know right now every part of this tree is considered a soft bud and I want to protect it. So one thing that I've done is I've actually taken um, over here I've taken my uh, my tomato cages and my tomato cages were uh, in a video I'll put a link to how I made these um, but they're nice and wide they're nice and uh, you know they're nice and, uh, and round they're nice and big. But what I do is I stick it right over top like that. Just right around the plant. And if it's right over it, no big deal. Uh, there's no harm to any leaves. And it just ensures that the that the leaves won't get munched on. These, these trees are putting a lot of their energy into roots. And so I don't want them to lose their leaves too early due to either um, you know uh, a deer munching on them or just any anything really. So these are gonna protect them and they're gonna keep them from, from deer sticking their, their mouth in there and eating them. Obviously a deer can come in here and eat the tops, but um, you know, obviously it's better than nothing and it gives you another use for using your tomato cages. Uh, instead of just storing them in the, in the garage early, you can actually put them to good use until, uh, until the plants have actually gone dormant. And you can also leave them on in the springtime as well, all the way through winter, because uh, in the springtime as well, when there's a lot of stuff dying off, the deer go to the first thing they can see to eat, and that's usually uh, the soft bud tips on trees, and they'll munch those off. So both times a year, it's a great, it's a great idea to use these, uh, because usually you're not using your tomato cages until uh, the summertime anyways, so why not put them to work in the, uh, in the other two seasons when there's still stuff growing. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys learned something new. And as always, this is my gardener reminding you guys to grow big or go home. I'll see you guys later. Bye.